cool, oh, man. Um, there! Hey, it really is Zero! Did you really do all this? Yes, of course. I'm a woman of deeds, not just of words, and isn't it wonderful? Don't you think it's wonderful? Sure it is, it's great! Uh, can you draw the saber? Yes, you can. Just watch. Now then. Whoa! Whoa. Wow. Wow! He looks brave! Yes, he's very nice. Uh, Chris, what are you gonna do with this figure now it's finished? I'm gonna take it into the town to show it to everybody. After all, Zorro is everybody's hero. We mustn't forget that. Huh? What? Well, Chris, I don't think that would be a very good idea. Oh, why not? We may think of Zorro as a hero, but to military headquarters, he's just a rebel. You could get into enough trouble just from making this thing. If you tried to show it, I'm sure they'd arrest you. I agree with Diego. It would be far too dangerous for you to take this anywhere near the town. I don't care. Let them do whatever they wish. I am the widow of a Spanish baron. They wouldn't dare lay a finger on me. The army here doesn't care about titles. They'll lock you away! Do you all think so, too? Uh-huh. I see. In that case, I'm sorry. I only wanted to do something to please the people around here. New doctor? Oh. Is that you? The new doctor? Yes. I've been asked by the Governor General to join the clinic here. Well, nobody told me about it. Uh, Martine, anyone mention a new doctor to you? No, this is the first I've heard about it, too. You probably think that you don't need me here. Is that what you're thinking? Well, I, I'm not, I don't mean to be rude, miss, but I'm not very busy myself. Uh, perhaps you can tell me uh, one thing, Doctor. What's the most important thing we should have? A kind heart, sympathetic understanding for all of our patients. Correct. Uh -huh. Well, I think I like you. Yes, I think we'll get along pretty well. Oh, yes. I nearly forgot. I have a present for you. Wow, oh, thank you. Thanks a lot. You know, I'm beginning to like you more all the time. Oh, thank you so much. I see. So that is what you are going to do. Yeah. Huh? Da damn troublesome fly! Ah! Ah! I don't care much for flies. Ah! I'll finish it. Hey, what's the matter with you? Oh, it got away. Doctor, what are you doing? You're drunk. Not much. But I don't understand. It's still daytime. Who's looking after the clinic? <laughs> you, you don't want to worry about the clinic. Everyone comes to see Anita. Nobody needs me anymore. It's... <laughs> Does he mean the new lady doctor, Anita? Well, we do say that she's really pretty. Yeah, that's right. All the men in town pretend that they're ill so they can come and see her. They do? All of them? Yeah, sure. She's not only pretty to look at, but she's also a very good doctor, so I don't have to worry about anything at all. Thanks to her, I can forget about being a doctor. I can just enjoy myself and sit here under the sun drinking my wine. That's how I like it. <laughs> here we are, Father. Are you okay, Dad? Are you sure? Uh, don't, don't worry now. I'll be fine as soon as I've seen the doctor. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, what's going on? Oh, another patient, huh? And just where uh? your pain, Mr. Carlos? Well, it's in my stomach. I, oh, it's so painful I can't stand it. I gotta see the doctor. Will you tell the doctor, Martin, this is an emergency case? You can't do that, Mr. Carlos. Everybody here is an emergency case, you understand, including me. You as well? Well, you don't look sick to me, Sergeant. 
No, but my back is in such pain. Oh! Uh, whoa. Oh. Oh. I cannot tell you how wonderful it is to be touched by her soft white hands. Next, please. Ahem. It's my turn now. I see you have a back problem. That's right, yes, my back. Now look directly into my huh? eyes. Yes. Huh? Sergeant Gonzalez, listen to my voice. You are getting sleepy. Sleepy. I have a question. Perhaps you know who Zorro is. No, I don't. <sighs> Come on now, oh, Doc, oh, look out! Carol, yeah, Carol now. Whoa! Hey. Bernard, are you all right down there? Oh, it hurts! And that's the reason I hate drunkards! Looks like you're bleeding, Bernard. Well, what happened? How'd you get hurt? You should know that, Doc! You did it! Well, um, well then you better go to the clinic, Bernard. And you, Diego, come with me. Where to, Doc? Why, to the saloon, of course. Let's leave the treatment to Anita. Come on, come on. We'll have a great time together. Wait, Doc. I'm still underage, so no? drink milk. Great. Well... Come on, now. Be brave. You're not a baby. Yeah, but it really hurts. Okay, then. I'll charm your pain away. Huh? Look at this watch. Listen to my voice, Bernard. You're getting sleepy. Sleepy. You are drifting into a deep sleep. When I ask you a question, you must answer me absolutely truthfully. Is that clear? Uh-huh. Do you know who Zorro is? Uh-huh. Ah, do you know his real name? Do you know it? I know it. <laughs> Diego is Zorro. When I snap my fingers, you will not remember anything you've said. Understand? Uh-huh. Huh? huh? I don't understand. What am I doing here? What am I doing outside? Oh, Dr. Anita, thanks for the other day. I feel fine now. My stomach is completely well again. Uh? That bouquet. I wonder if it means something. Tell me who Zaro is. I, I, I must tell you, but. Uh... <laughs> tell me who Zaro is. We need some um, fish. Mm. Oh! 
Are you okay, Maria? You should be more careful. I'm always careful. Someone pushed me. Someone pushed you? Yes, although I couldn't see who it was. I thought I was going to be killed. I wonder who. What happened here, Diego? Father. Someone tried to push me under the carriage, Mr. Vega. They tried to kill me. What was that? Are you sure? Yes, but Diego helped me. It was close, but I think I'm all right now. Mm, it's hard to believe that there could be such people around. Hmm. I'm really all right now, Mr. Vega, but tell me, where are you going? <laughs> hmm, me? Why, I'm going over to the medical clinic. The clinic? Dr. Timoteo has said he wants to see me right now. Huh, Dr. Timoteo, you say? You wouldn't happen to be going just to see Dr. Anita, would you? Oh, <laughs> what do you, you mean the female doctor everyone's talking about? Well, as a man, I'd quite like to see what she looks like. Do you want to come with me, Diego? I'm going now. Oh, no thanks. I've had enough of Dr. Timoteo and his drink. Dr. Timoteo's in a kind of funny mood now. Just make sure you don't drink too much. Mm, don't worry, I won't. Why are you going, Bernard? Um, so the Dr. Anita can take my bandage off. I'll see you later. Yeah! Well, now, Bernard's taking an interest in women. Uh, hello there. Hello there. Dr. Timoteo, Martine. Oh, hello there, miss. I'm afraid there's nobody here. Dr. Timoteo and Martine have both gone shopping, but they uh, should be back soon. Oh, uh, I see. Well, Dr. Timoteo said he wanted to see me, so I'll wait. And I guess you must be Bernard, right? Hmm. Will he take my bandage off, Doctor? My head's okay. Of course. Why don't you come in? Hmm. Hmm. Come quickly! Diego! What is it? What's wrong? It's Mr. Baker. He's been shot in town. He's been what? Diego? Yay! What's the matter, Bernard? Ah! Please clear the road now. My father has been shot in town. Oh, well, that's just too bad. Please, Lieutenant, you just have to let me through. I wish I could, but we have to talk to you first. You're under arrest, Diego. Take him, man. Huh? Hey, Bernard, wake up! What's the matter with you? Huh? Ah, Miss Lolita, please come Is in. Is Diego home? No, oh, no, he left in a hurry just before you arrived. Oh, Maria, what's happened to Bernard? Oh, I wish I knew. He looks so funny. Hey, what is it? What's wrong? Oh, Diego, it's Mr. Baker. He's been shot in town. What? Is that true? That's why Diego left in such a hurry. Oh, dear, oh, dear, what shall we do? Wait a minute. I've just come from the town, and I didn't hear anything about this at all. Well, what can it mean, then? It's funny. He almost looks as though he were in a trance or something. Wake up, Bernard, wake up! Mm -hmm. Huh? Lolita? Yes, Bernard, it's Lolita. What's going on? How did I get here, Lolita? And what am I doing here? Well, that's what I want to know. The last time I remember, I was still in the clinic with Dr. Anita. The clinic? Hey! Oh, ah, oh, you should be more careful. Santasco is not a big city. Drive more carefully, huh? Come with us, Sergeant. There's something wrong. Oh, what's that? Huh? Just get on now! There's nobody here now. Hey, look at that! <gasps> oh. 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 Oh, that's better. What happened here, Doctor? It was that Doctor Anita. She's nothing but an imposter. 
Yes, she was a man in disguise. Oh, a man? Yeah, that's right, and he told us his intention was to kill Zaro. To kill Zaro? He said his brother had been killed by Zaro in the past. <gasps> Impossible. That's it. He's the brother of that killer. By pretending to be a doctor, he could use hypnotism on all his patients. That way, he could discover who Zaro really is. But she, no, he was so pretty, just like an angel. Oh, how could I have been so stupid? Yes, but why would he trap Diego? Yeah, why did he use Bernard to lure Diego out? I don't understand. What? Where's Bernard now? Oh, my fault. I told them about Zoro when I was hypnotized. Come on, Tackle, New Figaro, follow Diego's scent! Oh, who's there? It's me. I need your help, Chris. Oh, come on. Who told you I was Zoro? I don't believe it either. Well, why then? You'll find out when we get beyond that sand hill. Your father is waiting there for you. Father? Father! So you're here, Zaro. You? But why? I tell you, I'm not Zaro. Now let him go. Diego. Oh, father! No! Stay where you are. Huh? My name is Sogar, the younger brother of Sabat, who you killed. Sabat? Don't pretend you don't know him. He was a guitarist, and a very good one. Killer with a guitar? Oh, that one! Well, you got it wrong. He wasn't killed by Zorro, he was killed by Commander Raymond, and Lieutenant Gabriel knows that as well as I do. Go and ask him, he knows the truth. Don't deny it, Zorro. It was you. I'm not Zorro! I told you that! Be quiet. My methods of hypnotism are faultless. It's impossible to tell a lie. I'll show you how painful it is to lose one of your family, Zorro. This bit of quicksand will swallow anything. You're in time to watch your father die, quite slowly. Hold it! Huh? Are you sure he's Zorro? I can't believe it myself. This fool would even crawl on his hands and knees to beg for his life. He can't be Zorro. I tell you, he can't be. It's impossible. You don't believe it? If we make a mistake, we'll be in big trouble! This is the desert, Lieutenant. There is no one around for miles but us. Besides, this is no mistake. He's just pretending to be a coward. I'm sure of it. Just as I pretended to be a woman. Huh? Lieutenant, blue! What's that? Zaro! Zaro! Ah! Out of the way! It can't be! Hold on, Father. Huh? Is he okay? He'll be okay. He just passed out, that's all. He can't be killed as easily as all that. And who is this sorrow, anyway? Ah, uh, you'll see him soon! <laughs> Immortal. Oh, great. Chris is gonna be furious. Ha! Ha! You're not immortal, I know. You just choose magic on me. Ah! Ha! Ah! This time I'll cut your head off for sure, Zorro. Now die! You tried to kill me because you thought I was responsible for your brother's death. But I'm not going to kill you. You are to go back to the town and tell everybody there that you were hired by Lieutenant Gabriel. You can't do that, Zorro. You're gonna die right here. 
yourself. Huh? Well, what are you waiting for? Get after him! Come on! Well, Lieutenant, at least you know I'm not Zorro. <laughs> no! You'll pay for this! You will pay! In the next exciting episode of Zorro, Nikita and her friends are in danger, and Lolita is surprised by some strange behavior from Sergeant Gonzalez. Bernard and his friends rescue the Governor General from a band of evil kidnappers. They use the dummy of Zorro in an ingenious plot to save the Governor General's life, but all does not go according to plan. And soon they need help from the real thing, the only one who can save them, the one true Zorro!